I think art is defined whenever something moves you. So art's all around us. That's why photographers take pictures of still, you know, still objects. It's moved them in some way to take that picture and thus creating art. So my work is purely subjective. It appeals to certain kinds of people. I'm not gonna please everybody in my art. No artist is gonna please everybody. But I think because it's an extension of you, if you really put your heart and soul into the piece, whatever it is you're making, and people know that, they're gonna value that. And I think that that's what my connection is with people in my trees. The connection I made with folk art is every piece of folk art that you see, that's an extension of that person who created it. So somewhere in that piece is their personality. The bottle trees, they're like a bridge. They're a connection to people. A certain kind of person is attracted to them. And I think it is, it's the poor man's stained glass. You know, the idea of recycling bottles. People are very into recycling these days. But when they find out there's a story behind the bottle trees, um, it's more appealing to them. The whole concept of the haints, the spirits being drawn up into the bottles. It's not a haint thing. It's an art thing, you know? It's that little blurb of color in your yard that's gonna make you smile on a rainy day. It's also that piece of art that's so raw that when you see it, you go, oh, I'm home. It's like the, the rudest form of folk art to me. But a lot of people think they're gaudy and ugly, but you know what, that's recycling. You know, you're taking something ugly and you're repurposing it for something else. That's, that's what a bottle tree is. You're repurposing this, and if it means putting bottles on there to make you happy, then there you go. I consider myself a Mississippi artist. I wasn't born and raised here, but the art came from here, the inspiration for art. I love the fact that the people that I have met down here are so supportive of the arts. I think that's first and foremost down in Mississippi. That stands out to me the most is the support of the arts. I have this affinity with the past. I love history and I love the connection that we have with our past. Don't deny it, don't disregard it, don't forget it. So bottle trees to me are a connection with our past. I think a lot of Mississippians overlook it because they've lived it, they, you know, they, they've lived around bottle trees, but there's such a southern cultural significance, you know, behind their existence. And I in building the trees, I kind of feel like I'm representing that cultural history. In my mind, I'm only on this planet so long, and the question is, what are you gonna do with this time? And I only have so much time, and I have so many trees to build, and the planet's a big place. I got a lot of work to do.